I'm Kenton Wyatt, the founder and director of Kendrum Music Academy. Kendrum Music Academy is located in Brampton, Ontario, and we are part of the cultural fabric of this Brampton community. The Kendrum Music Academy has, as part of its kit, the Kendrum Youth Steel Orchestra, which the players uh, or the, the, the musicians and students studying with the Academy are integrated into as a band. I've been a member of Kendrum Music Academy since I was 11 years old. I've been with Kendrum Music Academy since I was six years old. I've been a member of Kendrum Music Academy since I was six years old. I've been uh, studying music for a very long time since I was about seven years old. I started with music. Being a part of Kendrum Music Academy has helped me, has given me the opportunity to play many different instruments, but my main instrument that I play is the steel pan, the soprano steel pan. At Kendra Music Academy, I study the piano and play the soprano steel pan. At Kendra Music Academy, I study, I study the piano and the guitar pan. As a youth steel orchestra, the group has performed at many venues. We've done a lot of uh, performing in the Brampton community and in the GTA as a whole. We also do uh, overseas performances. We have done uh, performances in New York, we have done performances in Boston, and um, in fact we have written that into our program that we make an overseas trip every year to widen and broaden the experience of our musicians. I would say that Traveling with Kaiso, the highlight or the event that I enjoyed the most would be going to Boston just because it was a lot of fun. And we got to play for many different people and it was a whole new environment. We've had a trip across the border to the United States as we went to New York and also Boston most recently. Some of the places I've played since I was in the band are New York and locally around um, Brampton. Some of the outstanding venues that I've performed in, I mean, there's a long list of, in, of venues, but something that really stood out to me, there are two things. Uh, with uh, Kendra Music Academy, the Boston tour that we did a few years back, that really stood out to me because it was a new experience. We moved from Canada across over to the United States to the Boston Carnival where we were welcomed with um, open arms. Performing there in front of the crowd, you really get to see the difference in dynamic from their um, festivals in terms of their caravana, sort of, to that in Toronto. Another event that stood out, this is when I was a little younger, um, I did perform in the United Kingdom for their Millennium Celebration in 2000 at the Millennium Dome. That stood out to me as well because it, again, the culture was completely unique and different and it was a coming together of the British territories. So you got to see everything from all over Europe as well as the Caribbean in one venue. This year, we are venturing a little bigger. We are hoping uh, to visit Cari Festa. Cari Festa is a festival of the arts not just a festival of the arts, but the Caribbean Festival of the Arts. This year, it will be held in Suriname, in South America. And we would like to be part of that festival. Going to Carafesta 2013 will help me get more experience and learn more as a musician, and will give me more opportunities to see things and experience a different culture. Being a part of the group and going to Carafesta would help me learn more about my heritage and kind of have, ha, have more of an understanding of where my grandparents and my parents came from. I'm looking forward to Carafesta 2013 in Suriname in a big way. I mean, originally being, I'm, I was born in Guyana and haven't moved out of Guyana when I was really young. I didn't really get to immerse myself in my own culture. 
So going back to that um, part of my heritage is really unique and amazing to me. I'm gonna get, I'm learning, I'm hoping to learn about my own Guyanese culture as well as the Caribbean itself. Kentron Youth Steel Orchestra is more than just a steel orchestra because uh, playing steel pan music is a, it's an entire cultural movement. As such, we incorporate drama, music, dance, and this time we are taking on tour a cultural group that encompasses all of that we work on. Um, it's going to have some dance, some drama, some music, and uh, of course, the main emphasis being the steel plan. Uh, the group that, the proposed group for Cari Festa is 16. This includes uh, the chaperones and the actual players, uh, young people who will be doing the performances. Uh, in order to make this a success, we need a lot of funds. We are trying to raise $15,000. We have done and we are up. We continue to do other fundraisers to make up the amount, but we are here seeking $15,000. This will go a very far away towards making the district a success and helping these young people to reconnect with their roots and to understand that life in other parts of the world is, is different and to experience that difference in one location. Thank you.